In dogs, we routinely vaccinate against distemper, hepatitis, parvovirus and leptospirosis. These four diseases have the potential to make your dog very, very ill and possibly even die. We are seeing more clinical cases of distemper in imported dogs, so there is definitely a risk in this country that is evolving. We see leptospirosis in dogs that exercise in rural areas, potentially, and parvovirus tends to be more in where there's a, a dense population of dogs. They get severe bloody diarrhea, um, often in young animals, and having treated some cases of it, it's absolutely heartbreaking because sometimes despite all your best efforts, they don't pull through. So the importance of vaccinating against these diseases, firstly to protect your own dog, but also to protect other dogs because the more vaccinated dogs there are, the less likely we are to see these diseases because there's no reservoir for them to, to live in. And so we reduce incidence. Leptospirosis as well, we have to be careful of. Potentially dogs can act as a, as a reservoir for infection for people as well. So it is really important to keep up to date with these vaccinations. In cats, we routinely vaccinate against enteritis, which is the same virus that causes um, parvovirus in dogs, but it's, it's a cat strain. And also against a couple of cat viruses as well, which cause flu. Now, the enteritis, again, that's really important in kittens. We do see quite high mortality rates in unvaccinated cats. With the flu vaccine, it's a little bit more like the flu vaccine with people. It will decrease the severity of disease. It won't necessarily mean that they never get a cough and a snuffle, but they, are, they get better quicker and they, they're not as poorly. We also have a, another vaccine that we can use in cats called um, FELV. Uh, which is a cat virus um, which can cause leukaemia in cats. Um, it's what we call a non-core vaccine, but we do recommend that we do vaccinate cats against that because it's not a very nice disease at all. Rabbits can be vaccinated as well. Two diseases we cover with them is myxomatosis and viral hemorrhagic disease. Myxomatosis is generally transmitted in the autumn by flies, so they don't have to be in contact with wild rabbits to get the disease. So it is really important to make sure that their vaccines are up to date, preferably in the springtime, to make sure they're protected over the at-risk summer and early autumn season. If you want any further information on vaccinating your pet, then please do call the practice, pop in, we can advise you, we can book your consult and give you more information that's detailed to your particular animal.